My colleagues and I stand with, here, with you here today because the system is broken and experimental pro-criminal policies have devastatingly failed too many Californians. The most basic responsibility of government is to protect its people from violence. One block away from here, the state capitol, six lives were lost and multiple people were wounded in a horrific tragedy related to gang violence. That night, dozens of people lost their, were wounded and lost their lives by a crime that was preventable. One of the criminals involved was a repeat violent offender, most recently behind bars for violently assaulting a woman who he was trying to sex traffic. He served four years of a 10 year sentence and was released early less than 60 days ago, despite strong opposition from prosecutors who wanted who want and warned that he would continue to be a danger to the public. This story has become all too familiar throughout California. Reckless and experimental pro-criminal policies are putting more violent criminals back on the streets every single day. And every single day, innocent Californians become victims to violent criminals, rapists, gang members, and murderers. Over the past few years, the legislature has doubled down on the failed policies of AB 109, Prop 47, Prop 57, by enacting laws that weaken criminal sentencing and restrict gang enhancements. These backwards policies have emboldened criminals and made our communities less and less safe. Brazen crimes are becoming a daily occurrence. Organized thefts, violent hate crimes, sexual assaults, muggings are happening in broad daylight. Just over a month ago, I comforted an elderly lady who had just been mugged right here at the State Capitol Park. If we don't step up now, it's only going to get worse. And I wish it weren't true, but Governor Newsom is currently considering making new early release credits for violent felons permanent. Sacramento continues to give criminals a free pass and victims a slap in the face. We need to repeal pro-criminal policies like AB 109, Prop 47, Prop 57, and replace them with laws that support crime victims and their families. Two of my bills, AB 1846 and AB 1847, do just that by ensuring crime victims can meaningfully voice their concerns and exercise their constitutional rights. Our government has failed. Where is the justice? What's the next generation, our kids, history, going to say about California's era of lawlessness? It's time to restore law and order and make California a safe place where we can all live.